Uh, thanks for watching this video. We're five days away from Resurrection Sunday, and I gotta tell you, the excitement around here is building. We're getting lots of stuff done. There's lots of um, stuff being built and put together on the stage. It's really an exciting time. And I just wanted to um, just give you some details and walk over some of the details of our services coming up and make sure we're all on the same page with what's happening this Sunday. Uh, we really want to, uh, we want everyone that walks through our doors to have the highest level, the greatest experience on uh, Easter Sunday and on Good Friday. So I just want to cover some basic stuff. You guys have already truly raised the bar when it comes to, uh, when it comes to being a friendly church with loving everyone that comes to the door, especially first time visitors. We have really made um, a lot of great strides forward in this area and, and, and we consistently hear about it. We're consistently hearing feedback from people that our church is very friendly and very warm and very inviting. And uh, we've always been that way, but we've, we've been hearing the feedback more. It's, it's been a growing, uh, a, a, gr a growing piece of information that we hear from people all the time. So, um, in fact, if you, go to our, if you go to Google Maps and you look up our church, you'll see that someone was felt so compelled to write a review about our church, a glowing review about our church, and they mentioned just how friendly we are and how awesome our pastor is. So thank you for that. Thanks for all the great work that you guys put in every single week. Um, thanks for the way that you love on people that come through the door. Uh, it's, it's so essential that everyone walks through the door, uh, feels God's love, and feels like this is um, the kingdom, and, and they get a little, a little taste of heaven uh, as they walk in the door. So let's, let's continue to do our absolute best, especially this Good Friday and uh, Resurrection Sunday. Let's make sure we're all in place and ready to go. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to us about uh, any of these things uh, so that we have the absolute best experience. I want to run through some, some details in, in a moment, um, but there's a couple of things that I want to make sure everyone's aware of. Uh, some changes that we've made that I think are really exciting. First of all, if you may have noticed, we've been putting out some visitor parking signs out by the entrances and by the island on our in our parking lot. And this is so that if you're a first time visitor, you're actually aware that we have visitor parking. One of the concerns is that you don't notice the visitor parking until you're walking up to the church and you've already parked. So this hopefully will increase the amount of people that actually utilize visitor parking. Now, greeters and ushers and everyone, I want you to keep an eye out for the visitor parking. If you see someone park there, feel free, walk up. You know, just make it, uh, acknowledge them right away that they, uh, they came, came here for the first time and, and, and show your excitement that they've, they, they came here. Um, it might feel kind of counterintuitive as we are all kind of passive Midwesterners very close to Canada, but I, I gotta encourage you, people love it when there's that, that initial push and the, the hello, the extended the hand, maybe even open the door and say hello. And, you know, I, I know some of you may feel like that's not uh, your ways of doing things, but people typically love a, a, you know, great um, hospitality, great customer service in a way uh, where you open the door and say hello right away and, and are excited to see them. So do that. Um, secondly, we now have new uh, first time visitor connection cards, which I just lost. Okay, here we go. You can tell this is a high production thing. So we have these new cards. They're, they're actually on the slap board um, and they're, they're within our brochure. So if you see a first time visitor, make sure they get one of these cards. Um, and, and this is just to kind of do two things. One, encourage them to fill up their information. And two, um, you'll notice it's got this big yellow banner and that's to help us Chapel Hillians know this is a first time visitor. If they're carrying this thing around, it's likely that they're a first time visitor and, and maybe that'll you know help everyone to uh, give them the best experience possible. And the third thing I want to make sure everyone's aware about is that um, we've started this new thing where we're actually dropping off cookies at the houses of people who first come to our church on the next day. So if they fill this out, this connection card, or fill out the one in the bulletin, um, the next day uh, we're showing up at their house and giving them a bag of delicious cookies made by Aaron Whiff. And this has been so fun. We've been doing this for the last few weeks and the feedback has been incredible. People really, it's really a fun thing to do because they, they typically are raving about our church. They're excited to, to, um, to uh, see what we're doing at Chapel Hill, and uh, we, we just get tremendous feedback. And, and they also say, like, they've never had anyone do anything like this before, like, you know, react and, and bring them cookies or do something um, after uh, they've turned their information in. So know that we are giving first-time visitors a great experience once, they're, uh, once they've turned their information in. 
So a couple things. I want to walk through some details of Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday. On Good Friday, we'd like to have everyone, uh, you know, ushers and greeters here by 6.45. The service starts at 7. Make sure you're in place, ready to go. Um, and make sure those signs are out there. They'll likely be out there first, uh, the, the visitor parking signs. If you don't see them, let's get on that. Make sure that's done. Uh, and let's just uh, um, give people the warmest welcome as they walk in the door. Uh, there is, uh, uh, there'll be on the back of the sanctuary, on the table back of the cabinet, there's going to be a, a, a basket full of ro ropes. And we're going to ask the ushers to hand those ropes out as people walk into the to the sanctuary there. The door should be open by 6.45, ready to go, and uh, you can go ahead and, and get into place and start to hand out ropes there. We'll be in Feeder of the Round. Um, if, if people have some trouble finding a seat, let's help them find seats, because um, it can be a little bit uh, different for some people. They don't really know where to sit when, when it's in that configuration. So help them. If, you, if they're looking a little, a little lost, a little confused, help them find a seat uh, with, within the room there. That, that would be great. So, uh, and then after the service, make sure you're connecting. If you, if you meet some new people, uh, let's look for them after the service and just make sure that, they're, uh, um, that, that they have a follow-up conversation with you. Uh, now let's talk about Resurrection Sunday. This is uh, going to be a great, great Sunday. Um, first of all, before the service, uh, let's make sure we got enough coffee going. We're going to need a lot of it. Uh, make sure it's our best coffee. We're, we're ready to go with that. Um, tech team, I, I'd like to have, once the rehearsal's done, um, and we're committing to having the rehearsal done by 9.30. Uh, I want uh, some great Pandora music playing there, some, some uh, Easter-type music. Uh, typically, we just pick a radio station. Let's make sure we pick one that's actually very much Easter-focused there. I'll help you with that part. Um, and then let's get the simulcast closed circuit stuff going early, get the TVs ready uh, for that, and make sure that's all set, because we might have some overflow issues there in case we get a, you know more than we can handle people. Um, greeters and ushers, uh, please arrive no later than 9.30. We'd like to get people there. A lot of times people are, are early when it comes to Easter. They want to get a good spot. So um, we, we'd like to get you in place by 9.30. The other thing is we want the doors open at 9.30 as well. So we'd like to get the worship center doors open uh, so people can come get their seats early. Um, uh, Minda and Scott Schultz have committed to be greeters at 8.45. We're having a breakfast at 8.45. So they're going to be here to greet people as they walk in. So that's great. And also John Swenson will be helping to greet as well during that time. So uh, I think we have a good start there when it comes to greeters. If, if, if any of you can come a little bit earlier than 9.30 to greet, um, that would be, be fantastic. Uh, one thing we want to mention is, and maybe you could help us, um, we have, you know, we'll have a lot of people here at Easter. So we want to make sure that everyone's got a great seat. Um, if you're a regular, if you regularly attend Chapel Hill, please try to sit up towards the front and move into the middle if you can. Um, that way we can have a, a, a lot of uh, great space for people that come in through our doors, especially the ones for the first time. We don't want first-time visitors who come late to just get stuffed in the back. We'd like to have people forward. So if you could just sit towards the front, move to that front row, move into the center, uh, that would help. That's one way you can minister to other people is by sitting closer to the stage than you typically would. Um, and ushers help people. As you see people walk in the door, let's make sure we're proactively helping them find their seat, uh, proactively throwing new chairs in if we need, it, need to. Uh, if you see anyone that's kind of relatively looking lost or, or new, or if you don't recognize someone, help them find their seat um, if, you, if you would there. Let's just be proactive when it comes to that. Teachers, uh, come at 945. Sunday school teachers, be ready uh, downstairs at 945. Um, and that's all the kind of the pre-service stuff. Um, during the service, here's the one key thing, ushers, we want the doors, the corner doors in, in the sanctuary to stay open until Ryan is done. We're actually starting the service with the welcome. So Ryan is going to talk first and then we'll, uh, we'll, then we'll go into the music. So when, don't close the doors until Ryan is done talking. Um, the other thing that we'd like from the ushers is someone to simply walk the halls and just be aware of what's going on in the hallways in case some, anyone needs help or has questions or is lost. We don't want anyone to, to feel like they don't know what what's going on or it, that they need help and they can't find it during the service. Let's, let's have an usher presence outside in the hallways there. Um, Ryan's also going to announce that people should move into the center, if, especially if we're seeing some issues with seating. And um, also, here's the other thing. We, we, we're going to have tons of flowers on the stage. That's all for you. So after the service, feel free uh, as volunteers and greeters and ushers and, and Sunday school teachers 
and, and tech team and worship team and, all, and so on, all, every one of you who help out on Sunday morning, uh, feel free to come take some flowers there uh, off the stage and you can take those home. That's our gift to you, our thank you for, for uh, putting in all the time that you guys do. And then lastly, last thing, um, the, uh, after the service, as greeters and ushers, let's be ready to go to connect with, uh, every, with, connect with people after the service. Uh, make sure that we are, are ready to go to, to find first time visitors, make sure they're having a great time uh, after the service, help them answer any questions that they have, uh, be on the lookout for anyone that's new and, and uh, let's give them a great experience. All right, uh, please be in prayer for this coming weekend. This is typically a very, very exciting weekend and God typically does a lot um, through these services. So uh, be in prayer for, for uh, God's hand to be honest as we move forward into the, the coming weekend. Thanks for watching this video, really appreciate it and really appreciate everything you guys do. Thanks, bye-bye.